Everyone has something they want to change. But change is hard. We push, we push, and we push, and often nothing happens. And the question is, could there be a better way? I'm Jonah Berger, best-selling author of Contagious, Invisible Influence, and The Catalyst. How can we change minds and incite action, not by pushing harder, not by providing more reasons, but by figuring out what those barriers are and mitigating them? I'm here to show you that by understanding the science of change can make you a better catalyst. Uh, you're probably familiar with the, the lay version of the status quo bias. What the status quo bias basically says is we have a bias to stick with what we're doing already and against new things. If you think about a project that's not doing so well or an initiative that's failing over time, we have a tendency to stick with it even if it's showing that it's not working. But if we flip the script a little bit and we said and said, what if we knew what we knew now? Would we start this project? Most people would say no. Yet if we wouldn't start the project given what we know now, why haven't we killed it already? We stick with the stuff we're doing even if it's not working perfectly and we're reticent to start new stuff even if it might work out really well because we're uncertain about what the new things are going to bring and we know what we've done in the past. To grow and be successful, we have to get people to change. We have to get more clients to come our way. We have to get the organization to be more innovative and change the way they practice the business that we do. We have to think about overcoming inertia. Inertia is hard to overcome, right? Uh, customers go back to the same places they've been to before. People buy the same products and services that they used previously. Anytime we're switching from something we're doing already to a new thing, there's a cost to that switch. Think about buying a new phone, for example. Well, obviously, you have to pay the money to buy that new phone. Right? There's a monetary cost to making that change. But there are also other types of costs as well. Right? So if you install a, a new system for email, for example, it takes a while to learn that system. There's a time cost to making that change. You think about asking people to do something different within the organization, a, a different way we approach projects or different initiative. There's an effort change required. Right? There's a cost to doing that new thing. I have to figure out which system to use. I have to figure out what service to buy. And even once I've bought that system or service, I have to figure out how to install it or use it. And if you think about those costs, those switching costs, there's an interesting challenge. When do the costs of change occur, and when do the benefits of that change occur? Think about it. When do those two things happen in time? The costs are always now. You buy a new phone, you have to pay money to get that new phone, you have to learn that new operating system, and only later do you get the benefits. Are the benefits equally certain? No. You say that new thing's going to be better. You say it's better than what I've done before, but how do I actually know? The benefits are uncertain and the costs are certain. And that makes the cost-benefit timing gap even worse. This is what happens all the time. You say it's going to be better, I'm not sure, but either way it's better, I should just go with it. But is that what people are going to do? No. They decide later. They hit the pause button. That's exactly what uncertainty causes us to do. Hit the pause button and do nothing. Because if you hit the pause button, you don't do anything new. You stick with the same supplier, you stick with the same approach, you stick with the same way the company's done business forever. Great for the status quo, terrible for change. And so one question is, how do we overcome that? How do we get people not to hit the pause button? That's exactly what catalysts do. Catalysts reduce roadblocks. They don't create change by pushing harder, adding more temperature, adding more pressure. They create change by removing the barriers to change and making it easier for change to occur.